how long do you think it takes to know someone? Mm. Honestly, to, to be completely honest, man, I think it, it I think it's circumstantial because I feel like you can meet a person in the first conversation and, and know them in the spiritual realm. You know what I'm saying? Like you can meet a person and be like, damn, I, I know you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know you, but I know you. You know what I'm saying? We feel connected here. So I think I think it's circumstantial on the person. I think you can meet a person the first day and it can you know what I'm saying? You click. Yeah, it can just click, you know? Yeah. No, definitely. I think, yeah, I definitely agree with circumstantial and then even just outside of that, like, yeah. it could take a lifetime. Yeah. Depending on how how many seasons this person going to be in your life because, like yeah. I said, like, oh, definitely. we're constantly growing. Yeah, and, 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 and one thing that I believe in, I, I believe, I definitely believe in seasons. People come in your seasons, so reading season, lifetime. And I, and I, and I say that, and, and also, you got to be aware when seasons are changing. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes I, I believe God will hold certain blessings because it's like, she can't go. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, like, I'm, I'm just waiting on you to understand, like, I got this for you. Mm -hmm. But shawty right here, like, this this is not your wife. This is not this is not the partner. This is not your business partner. This is not the person mm -hmm. I believe is supposed to go to that next level with you. If they go, some gonna, you know what I'm saying? Some's gonna, they gonna mess something up. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so I, I'm I'm big on I'm huge on seasons, bro. Yeah. Like, but it's like, seasons. but it's good to know and understand that at a young age versus being like, man, let me tell you, I had a, I have a cousin, and he didn't get his heart broke till he was thirty. Ooh, and I'm like, he went in a relationship till he was thirty for real. Yeah. Like, but I'm like, I was telling him like, and I seen him going through what it felt like, and I know what it felt like to get my yeah, heart broke. Feel uh -huh. like you can't breathe, yeah, feel like can't sleep, the world over with, yeah, like all fact. type of shit, bro. So fact. I know what that shit feel like. So I was, I was just trying to break it down to him and just tell him like, bro, like it's gonna be okay. Yeah, I was like, you know, I was just like, you know, tap into some other mm -hmm. shit, bro. Like go to the gym. Like yeah. I remember one of my breakups before, bro. Like. Man, I got in the gym so crazy, bro, but yeah. it was so therapeutic, bro. It felt so good, yeah. bro. Like, and but I'm like, sometimes like I, I also I also read something before, bro, and it said it was talking about like how heartbreak like makes some of the most successful people. Yeah, facts. And it's yeah, even less thing. I mean, you do music. Yeah. I mean, like sometimes like we be saying like we can't wait for Summer Walker to goddamn yeah. get a heart broke so we can get yeah. out. But I be yeah. seeing girls tweet. You need that, to, like, yeah, bro, like, facts. But it's like. It's real, bro. It's, and, and and to speak on heartbreak, I think heartbreak hit different for men. They grew up just with their mothers because we love differently. We love and we understand women from a different place because we yeah, had. To. I'm, I'm real gentle. You know what I'm saying? I'm real gentle. You know what I'm saying? I'm real in tune with my emotions. Like I'm, it's conversations that may be hard for buddy to have. Like I'm initiating those conversations. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And like the love and just how we deal with women is completely different than I feel like. A, a, a guy that grows up with or that may not have his mother only have his father like it's more hard you know what i'm saying it's more like aggressive i would say you know what i'm saying yeah but definitely i, I remember my first heartbreak that shit was a, oh, what <laughs> man i don't and you know it's crazy i feel like you never like when you first get your heart broke like that young love i feel like you never loved that just that openly again is is with bro. more wisdom and it's yeah, more and it's, and it's yeah, guarded. Yeah, it's protected. Yeah, bro. like yeah. you you protect it. And the thing is, like, I was in I don't know I was in a relationship before, bro. To where it's like I I wasn't necessarily ready to be in a relationship, but I knew like this girl was giving me everything I needed. I was like, yeah. I need to give her this, but yeah. I was so I was so reserved because I really I was trying to protect myself. Yeah, because I know like once I'm in, I'm in. I'm in. Bro. Yeah, I'm like then. Yeah, and I'm like shit. Like. I don't want to feel that again. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like I know what I know what comes with that, but I'm like, but I think I like I said it was something I heard Lauren London say as well too. Um, it's just like a lot of times people put possessions on relationships. Yeah. And really like we're really just sharing this experience together. Mm -hmm. And it was like a, if we can remove pos possession of relationships, mm -hmm. it's just more so just to like I said tapping into like that yeah. spiritual side and yeah. knowing that we just. Ex we 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 sharing this experience together, yeah, bro. Facts. Shit can go, yeah, so much further, yeah, bro. Yeah, facts. <coughs> yes, facts. Um, I had another in therapy episode, bro. My guy, uh, Renardo. Okay. And he was telling me. He said, uh, he said, he was talking about. We talked about therapy, but then we also talked about um conversation within relationships, mm -hmm. and he was saying that, um, we we aren't we can't be honest in our relationships as we are honest with our best friends. Mm. 
And I'm like, damn, bro, like, that's some, that's some truth. Yeah. Because you could sit yeah. there and you could think about how you might um, affect that person, but then you also might think about, like, how what you say might affect the way they view you as well. Like, yeah. Yeah, no, no, for sure. Like, you definitely have to, it's certain conversations that, and it's just crazy because you're just more sensitive to your person. Like, you, you value their opinion. So if they say something that's too harsh, it can be like, damn. You know what I'm saying? But if, if my homeboy said, I would be like, all right, bro. Like, I hear you. You know what I'm saying? But your girl saying it just hit different because you value their opinion so much. It's like, I truly value everything you say. And I hold you on this pedestal. So if And that's you, the thing. Yeah. We put people on, on pedestals pedestal, they yep. didn't ask to even be on. They didn't. That's facts. That's you know facts. I mean? Like, that's I, facts. I had to learn that myself, too. Yeah. Like, bro, like, I might put this person on this pedestal and it's like, bro, like, you ain't asked to be here, but you here, bro. So mm-hmm. it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it that's facts. It it's know? like pastors, you know, like we, we put pastors up on these pedestals. Like, bro, they, they can't make no mistakes. They can't make no mistakes. <laughs> they make one mistake and we ready to crucify them. Like, you know, he can't be the pastor of the church. Like, no, nah, like you got to give people grace. You know what I'm saying? That's something that I'm learning in this chapter 23, right? Just grace, man. Because I'm one of those people where it's like, I be so like, I don't let people close to me. So it's like, if I, if I allow you in my space like that, I really fuck with you. Yeah. So you, if you burn that, if you burn me, it's like, damn, bro, I would have never. Yeah, you, you know what I'm saying? I take my relationship sure, seriously. Do you make sure you give yourself grace? In what capacity? Or, or, put like this, bro. Like, I know for me, like, I'm, I'm a, I am feel like I'm a perfectionist. Oh, yeah. So, like, um, somebody ever tell you, come to you and maybe say, like, like, give you a pat on the back, like, uh-huh. And you ain't you probably ain't feel like you did nothing. You feel like you didn't scratch the surface. Yeah. But in reality, it's like sometimes you gotta like realize like, damn, like I really did do this, I really did do this, I really did do this. Yeah. Like, and to the point where it's like stop being so hard on yourself and give yourself like when I say give yourself grace, like cause we we naturally, bro, like when you wanna win, you 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 competitive, yeah, you, you don't smell the flowers, you. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like you you don't give yourself the opportunity, bro, to yeah. like to really like bask yourself, but that's yeah. why like me give yourself grace, like Knowing that, bro, like, you could be hard on yourself, but bro, sometimes, like, sit back and, like, reflect a little bit yeah. and tap into you. And yeah. that's what I kind of, like, when I say, like, give yourself grace, because, like, we give other people grace all day. Yeah. But, bro, I think giving yourself grace is a part of, like, learning and loving yourself. Yeah. Like, it's people, real. you could hear people say this all the time about loving yourself. Uh-huh. But, bro, like, I don't think a lot of people understand, like, what that necessarily, like, yeah. entitles and what that yeah. really means. Like, that is facts. Like, but you can spend a lifetime trying to learn how to love yourself. Yeah. And they say, oh, you know, you know the cliche thing, like, oh, you can't love somebody, your, to somebody till you love yeah. yourself. And it's like, ah, you know, the shit we hear all the time. But, but it's like, facts. it's truth with it. Yeah, it's facts. Because it's like, bro, like, if I know exactly who I am and, and, and what I have going on and me being able to express that and yeah. verbalize that, blah, 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 mm-hmm. yeah. have conversations, like, it's yeah. true. But, like, you got to give yourself grace. Yeah. No, it, that's definitely something that I think I... I also been trying to work on because it's like I, I started doing music so early and I was always, you know, you know, your, your parents and, and just people like when you start young and you're good at a young age, it's always like, oh, he's so good that they get put in your head. And it's like, all right, I expect a certain level out of myself that when I started to get these certain accolades, like I wouldn't really smell the flowers. It would just be like, oh, OK, cool. Next. You know what I'm saying? But when you actually, sometimes you sit back and it be like, no, nah, like, let me actually smell. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me let me sit back and realize, like, look what I just did. You know what I'm saying? Like, I come from Little Rock, Arkansas, bro. Don't nothing comes out of Arkansas. Nothing. Nothing comes out of Arkansas, bro. Like, so to be at the place that I'm at right now, at just freshly 23, man, like, that's a blessing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't take it light. I don't take it for granted, bro, because, you know what I'm saying? It could have been, it, it really could have been, you know, somebody else. Or, you know, God could have God could have not granted me the gift that he gave me. You know what I'm saying?